Hey everybody, Mavja here. Welcome back. I'm so excited to do my first haul video. This month I want to go and show you guys all the products I used from the previous month and ones that I really ended up liking. So pretty much these are my January faves. And let's start. So the first product I want to show you is eyeshadow palettes. And I love these two palettes so much. It's the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne collab palettes. There's a Kaleidoscope palette and the Daydream palette. Let me show you guys each of these beautiful, beautiful colors. Super pigmented. They blend amazing. They're really a pop of color. I love both of these palettes. And this one's so cute. This is a Daydream one. So all of your neutral tones, uh, more softer, but really, really buttery and creamy. So you can blend all of those colors so easily. So definitely a fan of both of these palettes. The Daydream one is 26 and the Fun Kaleidoscope one is 39. So again, really, really pretty. Love these guys. The next product that I want to show you guys is actually skincare related and it's by Lancome. It's a Visionaire Crescendo. For those of you guys who haven't used this, you have to try this. It's a night peel. So you're only going to use it 28 days. You're not supposed to use it continuously. I want to do mine like quarterly. So phase one is 14 days. Phase two is also 14 days. You go ahead and put this on on clean skin at night and then once you run out of phase one you can go ahead and do phase two 28 days honestly though mine lasted I did mine for like 18 days phase one I have a couple days left on phase two and I still have some extra left I want to use it for uh, the weekend maybe if I want to if I'm going out and I want my skin to be extra glowy I can save it for that but definitely such an amazing product what does this product do it helps with pores texture, lines, smooths out your skin, helps with dark spots. I actually noticed a result after the first night. The next day my skin was softer and it was more glowy. It actually also helps my overall texture of my skin, which is amazing. So my makeup goes on smoother, my skin's more beautiful. I love this guy. It's 75 bucks, but definitely worth it. The only thing is I will tell you, please wear sunscreen with it. Uh, they recommend SPF 15. I do 20 just to be safe. There is glycolic and salicylic acid in here. So definitely, it does give you like a a little bit of a tingly feeling but don't worry uh, definitely give this a shot so visionaire crescendo my next product is hair related it's a diva curl build up buster it's a micellar water cleansing serum and it really helps with removing any excess buildup that we get from our hair products it's also great if you have hard water it really softens up your hair so you twist up the cap in wet hair and you want to go and just kind of run it through like you would um, like if you're using like your own like hair dye in a bottle, uh, definitely an amazing product. I go ahead and kind of run that through. I like the way it feels. Uh, it feels a really nice clean feel. It's not going to set up too much. So you want to go and just kind of massage that in a little bit. I took some extra, put it in my hand and ran it through the rest of my hair. Uh, while I was doing this, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to see all my color go straight down the drain since it is a cleansing product and even color safe products usually do end up doing that because I have such a vibrant color in my hair. This did not remove any of my hair color. I don't know how they did it, but it's amazing. It made my hair feel clean, nice and bouncy, and it didn't ruin my hair color. So if you have color, color hair and you're worried about it, definitely try this. Uh, I have a very bright color and it works amazing, but I, I really want to give a shout out to this product for it being really something new on the market. So cleaning your hair without um, weighing it down or stripping it of hydration or color. So this is 28 bucks. Definitely try it and let me know what you guys think. Next, it is actually a sheet mask that we're going to talk about. This is the Bombay Black Honey Sheet Mask. I love this product. As you guys know, it's on the name. There's honey in here. Honey is great for anti-inflammatory, smoothing the skin, softening the skin, and really being a great non-irritant. If you guys have sensitive skin, definitely give this a shot. The reason I love this so much is my skin was so glowy the next day. Everybody's like, oh, what foundation are you wearing? I was like, it's just the sheet mask I did last night. And I have so many sheet masks, so the fact that um, this one made it on my January phase is great. I saw results instantly with this product. My skin was glowy and even the next day it was just beautiful. So if you guys haven't tried this, it's about three to five bucks. I got a 10 pack on Amazon for like 20 something. So definitely give it a shot. I will always have one of these just in case my skin decides to act up. This is definitely going to be in my new sheet mask pile. So try this out. Next, I'm actually going to be talking about facial sprays. Uh, I have a couple that I want to share with you guys, actually three. So the first one is a Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, Mavra, not another Mario Badescu spray. Like, oh, they're all the same. No. If you guys don't know me, I am not a fan of the Mario Badescu sprays until this one. This actually 
like smooths my skin and gives it a nice glow. There's vitamin C in here, so it's a great antioxidant spray. I use it as a toner spray, so I do it day and night, and it really helps uh, kind of just soften my skin. Don't use it as, as a setting spray, though. It's not a setting spray. Uh, what is a setting spray is the next one I'm gonna talk about. This is All Nighter. Again, I know All Nighter's been around, but they came out with the pollution protection version. There's zinc, copper, magnesium in there. It creates a really great barrier against pollution. I'm all for that. I also love the fact that it doesn't compromise uh, how long it's gonna stay on my skin, and it really does lock in that makeup. So definitely a fan of the new All Nighter uh, pollution protection spray, and this guy's 34 bucks. The next spray I wanna talk about is the Max Fit plus spray I love this spray it really kind of smooths my skin why I'm talking about this is I tried one of the new smells out uh, it comes now in rose lavender and coconut this guy is a coconut one but I love this spray because I can spray it on and it kind of um, smooths my makeup and just kind of makes my skin look like skin again which is great uh, but however a lot of people use this as a setting spray to me, it's not a setting spray as much as I love it and I use it every day. Um, it doesn't really prevent my skin from, uh, it doesn't really prevent my makeup from being transfer resistant. That's where the all nighter comes in. So uh, definitely if you wanna use these guys in order, I would say go off go off and start with the Mario Badescu spray, do your makeup, use the Fix Plus, and then set your makeup with the all nighter. Another favorite product of this month was Mr. Incredible by Dry Bar. I try so many hair products and I was like, let me try this leave-in conditioner. Um, I love the way it smelled. It has sandalwood in it and I like manly smell so I gave it a shot and I'm obsessed with it. I'm so glad that it smells good and it works amazing. It helps defrizz, smooth, gives it shine, detangles it. Uh, my hair needs a lot of that. It kind of helps repair it. So. What I also like about this product is everybody can use it. If you have thin hair, you just don't use as much. If you have, you know, if you have more fine hair, you're just gonna put it a little bit so it doesn't weigh your hair down. I have very thick hair, so I go in a little bit heavier. I spray it all over on damp hair, and then I brush it through, continue with my styling products. But it's always great to have a really nice leave-in conditioner, uh, and this is my new leave-in conditioner. Well, I tried out the smaller size. I know there's a bigger size. This one's 13 bucks for 1.5 ounces, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and just do the big one next time since I love it so much. So, meet Mr. Incredible. And my last but not least new favorite product uh, that I discovered in the month of January is this flawless hair remover. I know you guys have probably seen this around but or seen commercials, but this is amazing. I got mine, it's $19.99. A lot of people said I was reading that, oh, it's an epilator, it's not an epilator, it's just a razor. But how it works is you go and turn it on, there's a little light right there uh, that really helps you magnify it, and you just go in circular motions and it gets, uh, and it gets rid of the hair. Now, I was very skeptical about this because I've tried a lot of hair products and I don't like razor type products because they leave my skin very stubbly. I've been trying this out all month and my skin is smooth, hair free, and not stubbly, which is huge to me. So if you have a hairy face and you're like, oh my god, that's what I've been worried about. And I don't like to wax my face because I'll break out if I do it too much. So this product really is a lifesaver for me. And I would recommend everybody who has peach fuzz, um, or hair that you want to get rid of, definitely give this a shot. If you don't have hair, you're just a lucky human being that can skip this part of the video, I guess. All right, and that is it for my January faves this month. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe down below. Thank you so much. Again, it's Mob Jar, and I'll see you guys next month.